This study presents a computationally simple and universal method for the automatic reproduction of deformations on the surface of plastic materials. The research aims are as follows. First, the article presents a method for labeling points in 3D space while eliminating the negative impact of measurement noise and numerical inaccuracies. Second, the research proposed a method to represent various deformation shapes in a standardized form. Third, a elaborated method is used to generate the motion trajectory of a robot manipulator to allow shape reproduction. The outliner of entire process can be divided into three blocks. The first step is to labeling the point cloud of the target shape from the region of interests. Then the points are assigned to different curvatures and denoted by the curvature labels. The second block creates the shape description by iteratively building a skeleton of ditch with variable width. The input is the point cloud of bottom and inner wall of the ditch extracted according to the labeling result. Then the selection probability of the spline's control points are generated depends on the number of neighboring points. The colors on the right side of the drawing indicate the number of neighbors, with warmer colors representing a larger number of neighbors. The built 2D spline and the projection of ditch walls are used for width estimation. By applying the algorithm 5 in our manuscript, the first best 2D spline is built. Then the inliers of the projected 2D spline are restored into original 3D coordinates for depth estimation. The shape of each ditch is described by a 3D spline with pairs of points indicating the width. After generating one part of the ditch, the processed part is removed from the original point cloud and the remaining part becomes the input of next part's generation. Then the same processes are applied to the remaining point cloud, and the generation stops when no parts remain. Finally, the fused shape description is used for robot motion trajectory generation. In last block, according to the generated shape descriptions, robot trajectories are defined as modulated sinusoids that unfold along splines. Several transformations of reference frames are performed for an easier description of the sinusoids and their final representation in the robot reference frame. The trajectory is constructed in the form of modulated sinusoid developing along the 3D spline. For easiness of formal descriptions, three additional reference frames have been defined. The coordinates of the sinusoid points are obtained by several transformations between local reference frames. They are finally expressed in the robot base frame. The details are provided in the paper. The generated trajectories are executed in order by a six degree of freedom robot. If any material remains in the ditch, the execution process is repeated one more time. The overall performance of our approach was validated by comparing the reproductions with human produced shapes using the point cloud structural similarity measure. Based on the results from various scenarios and different volunteers, we conclude that humans and robots demonstrated comparable accuracy in task reproduction. The concluding remarks are, first, the results indicated that the proposed method works effectively for the adequately selected parameters of the elaborated algorithms. Second, comparative studies have shown that the quality of robotic reproduction is close to that of humans. Third, our system can be applied to create custom souvenirs by reproducing unique autographs or shapes. With some limitations or adjustments, it could also produce plastic casting molds for various forms. Fourth, the deformation reproduction methodology will be expanded in future works, considering more general 3D deformations relaxing the shape and width constraints.